There we go, awesome. Right, so we're live here. Not too sure why the music has stopped. Makes me feel a little bit awkward. Uh, let's see, can we get it into motion again? Come on. Do the thing. Yeah, yeah feels good to be back once more. We're going to be playing War Plan here shortly. We'll be starting about 6pm. I am tempted to get the music in the background, so I'm just going to do that. Hey, dude, bro. Good to have you, my friend. Right, let me see. I wonder if I can play this outside the actual game, and then we can control that. So I'm going to do is do that, and while I've got the time, I'm going to get that set up. Just be two seconds, guys. Enjoy that backdrop while I go and sort this out. I think what we're going to be doing today, then, is actually trying out, uh, I don't know, I can't decide, maybe the Allies or maybe a later year, but as the Axis, in, and obviously the later years. Uh, that could be rather intriguing, actually. We'll see what options there are. Possibly something a little bit different. We'll find out. Um, hmm. Let's go see if I can get the music to play whenever we like. That would be quite nice. Hey, you been great night. We'll be starting shortly, anyhow. Don't you worry your sweet little noggin. No, I can find that. <laughs> I'm trying to find the music and I can't find the music. Oh, no. <laughs> can't find the music. I do that, Lanza. Good to have you, my friend, as always. Do hope you guys are looking well. Or am I kidding? Yours look fantastic. Hmm. Can't seem to find the music here. Oh, well. That's unfortunate. What I'm going to do then is actually play some music in the background. Just so... I'm going to play some one of, the, one of the West, one of the East music. So we've got something in the background playing at all times. I like that. I like having something like that in the background. There we go. It's suitable as well. What more could you possibly ask for? So what I'm going to do here then is just get the game back up. There we go. Looking forward to seeing how the game has improved since the last time I took a look. There we go. Now it's better with some music in the background. Just just gives it some ambience. Hey, doing that, Abbott? Good to have you, my friend. <laughs> oh, I don't even know about General. Oh, God. I don't know about that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe your uh, lieutenant or potentially your captain, something like that. I would presume it, but I don't know. Preferably somebody that's either too high up in the actual chain to be blamed or too low in the chain to actually be held fully accountable. And uh, that's where I prefer to be. <laughs> or rather in, in, in neither, really. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Indeed, the grey man, yes. I suppose in any situation, you prefer to be the financier, really, of any conflict. Uh, but here we go, it's now 6pm. So, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Warplan. Now, I am playing my own music in the background here, just to make sure we've always got some sound in the back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look. So, it's been a while since we last played, which is really odd. <laughs> it's really fun, actually. I, um, I read option then, I was just speaking, I said option. Okay. The game starts September 1st, 1929 with Germany, at war with the United Kingdom, France, Poland, and Italy. Italy, that's interesting. Oh, Italy, the USSR, uh, USSR, and the USA neutral. Right, allowing Italy to collaborate on the Allies at any time. Okay, that's quite interesting. I remember the first time I played the game, I actually kind of uh, <laughs> uh, broke the system, so it was fun. That was very fun. What do you guys reckon then? Should we take a look at 19? I think we'll go for a later one just to see how things look. Now I'm going to let you guys choose a year. But I'm going to say a later year really. The reason being, uh, I don't know, let's, let's try something where we're definitely on the defensive or, or on the losing end I suppose you could say. Yeah, 44 is rather attractive. Hmm... Yeah, 44 does sound pretty fun, actually. We'll go ahead and we'll take a look at 1944 and see how it goes. Yeah, there we go, exactly. Exactly. How you doing there, Jacqueline? Good to have you, my friend. Good to see you all. As we go ahead and take a look at 1944, then. So the game starts May 15th, 1944, with all major powers at war with each other. The Western Allies are prepared to, uh, prepare to, prepared to invade France. Italy has surrendered from the Allies, making a sluggish advance, and facing determined German forces and tough terrain. The Soviets are poised for a massive offensive, but are running out of able men to fight. Uh, Germany is short on everything and fighting for survival. I can imagine this is probably going to be quite short due to the fact that uh, 
We're going to have to manage an economy that is going to be in sh I don't know, it's not going to be in an exactly brilliant state, is it? I do wonder how our trade's going to look, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, hopefully we have conquered enough to actually make the economy even marginally viable. We'll take a look here, then. So it looks like the game's just going to go in. It's, it's not a bad game at all, really. I, I did have some fun uh, some while ago, actually. I can't remember the time that I actually did play this. Uh, it's been some time. Uh, the game is coming out in the near future. So look forward to it. Okay, so it looks as if we are receiving aerial bombardment there against our own forces. So we'll, we'll get an idea what's going on here. I do like how the east looks. It does look quite nice. Mavansk over here in the north. I did try to get the beta version, actually. I did try to get the beta. I couldn't find the download, unfortunately. But I did definitely want to try the beta, but I just couldn't seem to find the download. But then again, I'm kind of blind. But it's good to see you again there, my friend, Alvaro. <laughs> it's been... <laughs> oh, that was a fun stream, wasn't it? Uh, it was a British expeditionary force. Oh, okay, we just beat them to the mark. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Invading France with Italy, <laughs> the United Kingdom just doing nothing. <laughs> oh, great times. Absolutely great times. Hmm. As we have been pushed back to Romania there. But we do have the mountain, so that's going to be decent to work with. And then, of course, we are being pushed back in the north there, south of Leningrad. So we'll have to work with that. Yeah, just on that. Uh, was that Bessarabia that they were actually fighting in? I think that was Bessarabia, but it might have been Moldavia. Um, hmm, okay. Ooh. Is that, no, no. Is that Bessarabia or is it been Moldavia? No, it's not Moldavia. I think that'd be Bessarabia, perhaps? Or am I thinking of Transnistria? Oh, God, it's all come together now. I think it's, is it? It's one of those, I'm sure. Though I could be wrong. So we see a few more units, we see still to execute their orders. The situation is not terribly bad yet. Uh, but we don't have a huge deal of forces around the Eastern Front, which is not entirely surprising. Though, we'll see. I think it's going to be a case of trying to find where to hold and where to pull back, really. Leningrad is obviously a lost cause, and we are holding over here, so that's going to be quite important to actually hold this position. I'm going to have to ask the developer once again how to divide and combine units. I probably will have forgotten about that. <laughs> Oh uh, dear. Some people will disapprove, but I do generally t tend to generally come into these games quite blind. The reason being that as I'm learning, you guys are learning as well. And I think that makes for a more natural experience. Others may say that's lazy, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, Germany and Italy are war with the United Kingdom, the Soviet Union, and the United States of America. The Allies have taken all of North Africa and have forced the surrender of Italy. Germany is in a weakened state, desperately trying to defend their land versus the onslaught of the Soviet forces in the east. The Soviet Union is starting to run out of mental against the Axis war machine. The Western Allies are about to open up another front by invading France. June 6, 1944. Okay. Right. Now that's already poetic, but we need to figure out how we can actually throw it back into the sea there, really. Indeed, your test will not be an easy one. The enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. Well-equipped... Not so much. Trains, well, you do have been in the crucible of battle. You either learn or you die, to an extent. Well, you're a coward, I suppose. But either way, if you live, you're not doing too bad. So, Axis Victory, taking hold of as many objectives as possible. Okie dokie. Right, so we are kind of in a difficult position here, then, as you can imagine. Love the music, though. One of the West has some of the best music around, I swear. 
Uh, so we'll take a look over here then. So this shows the control. Obviously, we do control a great deal of the continent over here, which is not too surprising. But of course, in the east, things are starting to look a bit, uh, a little bit rough. Let's take a look. Yes, we do have a large salient over here. And do let me know if your music is too loud or doesn't quite fit. I can always turn it down or potentially have it on pause. As uh, so we do see that was the attacks over here by Vitebsk. Uh, we do see an attack out here while on offensive by Smolensk. And uh, not so much from Smolensk. Uh, they are crossing the uh, Dnieper River towards Brezna, Bre Brezina. Uh, but it might be worthwhile to pull back towards Mogilev. The reason being at least we do have the actual river line there. We are May, so we're not dealing with the frozen rivers right now, which is quite good. So we do have parts of that activity around Yugoslavia. And interestingly, uh, okay, well, I suppose that just makes sense. Danzig, obviously, former Polish territory there. Uh, in Tehran, actually, that's interesting. And over here in Paris, in northern France, okay. By Paris, not in Paris. Okay. Uh, so we do see air attacks against Milan. Now, the Italians have surrendered, but we do still hold the vast majority of the peninsula over here. At least of the mainland. Uh, destruction army group center will start soon. Yeah, operation, uh, was it uh, Bagration? Bagration? So we do... It might be worthwhile just to pull back preemptively. But then again, the thing is we can't just cede ground willy-nilly or we will be pushed back very quickly. Hmm. It's going to be one of those who are trying to choose where to hold ground, where to actually pull back. Hey, you do mess up in this? It's good to have you, my friend. Okay. Now, this is going to be something of a concern, but it's going to be something of a sleeper for you to really more than anything. We do have some mountain core over here, which is quite nice. Of course, we do see the actual shipping lanes over there, convoy you. Rains out there. How you doing, Mesby? Head. Good to have you, my friend. Uh, Novgorod, okay. I was being pushed back from that location. Uh, now, that is obviously under the control of the Union. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell with the green there, but that's definitely under their control. So, is under control is definitely helping us out right now. It might be that we pull back. So, Piskov has fallen. We do have the third SS Panzer Division. Uh, we do have a division over here, sorry, core over here by Tallinn. We do actually have a decent bit of strength over here in the north, in in the Baltic states there. I think what we need to do potentially then is to pull back and track the line. It may be worthwhile just to pull back into what would have been Polish territory over here. Uh, so into what would have been northern Polish territory over this way. Obviously what would have been Lithuania at one point, but yes. And uh, what was actually Polish territory over here. So this would be Belarus, wouldn't it? Uh, a Belarus. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it. I always say Belarus. But this area over here. We do have the Pripyat marshes over here. Okay. Brestotosk. So, yeah, this is going to be the thing. We do have the actual swamp over here to work with the marsh. That's very nice. At least it does give us some sort of bonus there. Uh, we can take a look by if you hover over it, as you can see. So you see down at the bottom left, you can see that there's a shield there. That indicates natural defensive value, which is very nice. I'm not entirely sure what the... I think that indicates supply. The one next to the actual anchor. Take a look. Potentially so. I'm sure the developer would tell me about that one. If I was indeed wrong. I uh, would do have a decent amount of defensive value there. But you can see that the actual marshlands, the actual swamp, are really, really good. Forest is, yeah, it's not exactly incredible. And uh, we do have Vilnius over here. You can see 1.1 there. Kalnus, 1.2. So the marshes are fantastic. They're really going to help us to hold out there. How you doing there, Mike Bravo 80? That's a pretty cool name. I like that. What do we have over here then? This is a Hungarian Corvin. Right. So what we are going to have to do then is extricate ourselves from this position. Now, we do have objectives to hold for victory points, of course. Now, if I take a look at the actual logistics, that's logistics on. Okay, supply. As we can see the supply over here, that's good to see then. That's very good to know. Enemy action, right, weather, whatever that. Weather, okay, it's not changed as of this moment. Units on and off, okay. Trade convoys. Okay, okay. So these are our victory locations over here. So it's unlikely that we're going to be retaking Kiev, nor Moscow. Not that we ever took Moscow, but it's unlikely that's going to be happening. Uh, Leningrad, obviously, is still a victory point over there. Uh, for the time being, it really does come down to actually holding these positions. The issue is, what, what are the mountain values, too? Yeah, mountains are fantastic. This isn't great. This is not great terrain to hold on to. 
we don't really gain terribly much from it. I don't think it's one of those of where if we were to abandon it, we'd actually lose terribly much. I do need to figure out where the actual resources of value are, though, however. So we'll, we'll get we'll get into this. It's going to take some time, but we'll get into this. Right, I'm going to turn that enemy action off for the time being, man. Right, control, obviously, we're aware of. Okay. Let's just take a look, man. So we do have AA in these positions. We do have all sides over here, then. Call there. Right, okay. So, I don't think there's terribly much that we'd actually lose by abandoning these positions. We do want to hold on to Minsk. Minsk would be nice to hold, but the issue is it's it's in the open. It is pretty rough to work with, but it is a nice logistics point. So that is something to work with there, with actual rail lines. Uh, we could potentially hold the river over here. We do have the Danipa River over here. Is that the... Ne no, okay. Is this the actual name of the river, the Berezina? Or is that, an a is that a... Town. Okay, so that would be a town or city there. Oh, no, it isn't, actually. Interesting. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure about that one, actually. Right, we can tell them to defend here. Hmm. But as he knows the river. Okay, there we go. I was wondering where, obviously, it's in the blue, so that would indicate the river. So I think what we would do then is potentially hold the Berezino River over here. Uh, the issue is the Soviets are already across this position here. They do have very strong forces. Uh, but we do have the actual Swamp and Marshans to work with, which does really help out our position in here. Uh, what we will do then is just consolidate, but we, we pull back. There's no point holding this position here. This isn't exactly great. It would be better just to pull back across the uh, Mulco River, to be honest. Uh, the terrain is... Forest and plains. It's on the plains here. We do have a hill, which is quite nice at 1.3. That's something to work with. We do have Cavell over here. Yeah, pull back. Try to force them uh, back across the river over here, but it not, not that it makes a major difference. Thankfully, it's only infantry at this point in time, which could be pushed back, but the armor is going to be difficult to deal with. But yes, we pull back across the river. There's no reason as to not to. Uh, over here, I will try to make a stand at the Berez uh, Berezina River. It's not going to be great. But the thing is, I do not want to pull back immediately. I would like to try and get a semblance of stability before we do pull back. Even if we get that option, uh, it's going to be interesting. There's just not much here. What I want to do is have a phased retreat over here from the Baltic states, I'd imagine. Uh, it's just, it's not ideal. It's really not ideal. Ideally, we might be able to bring up some reserves from Germany if there indeed are any. And though, of course, we do have to bear in mind that the Allied invasion will be coming soon. So we do need to bear that, of course, ever in mind. I think potentially what we need to do then is try to hold out in the east, give up ground in the east, but try to hold in the west. If we can hold in the west, then we can move the forces to the east, really. Italy is going to be another one to hold onto as well, so... Oosh. Hmm... Yes, uh, at least we're going to have a lot better of a chance in Italy, really. Especially this area, just need to hold this area. The river line would be ideal, but of course the Allied forces are over there. Uh, hmm. It's going to be interesting, nonetheless. Whichever way we want to work, it's going to be interesting. Uh, mostly because we are going to be on the receiving end, and absolutely on the receiving end. So we do see one of these American forces, obviously British... Oh, that's listed as USA as well. That's interesting. I thought it would have been uh, interesting. I would assume they would have been British with the colour. It might be that we're identifying them as British or as Americans because we don't have good information, but we'll see. Uh, now, thankfully, the situation down here is not too bad, but I don't know how long that could potentially last. Okay. We do have some remaining air power. We do have some remaining infantry divisions down here. Uh, but it's primarily being held by Germans at this moment in time. And it's a shame about the loss of Odessa, but yes, we pull back to this location over here. Uh, we do have the benefit of the actual marshes over here to the south. The hills ain't too bad. But we do have some strong positions on the other side of the river. Not so much this one, so it might be worthwhile to actually hold in the hills. Uh, but then again, the rivers do help out. One would imagine. Losing that agriculture is a shame. Right, so what we'll do then is let's see... Let me try to recall. Do we have a hotkey section? I always look for hotkeys and I always forget them. <laughs> Not that we particularly need them. Not that we particularly need them right now. Let's see. Hotkeys. Yeah, there we go. Battle toggle. Okay. Next units. 
Hmm. Weather toggle on Kenna, so it's handy. Unit toggle, very good. Right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, so what we're going to do then is start to move then. So if you take a look at our position over here. So we have the Soviet First Guards Army over here. So that's 14-5. What do we have then? So we have the Flieger Corps. We do have some infantry over here to Krakow. So that's a garrison division there. We do have some Hungarian forces over here. So we have some Hungarian corps over here. Behind Budapest. We do have SS Cavalry Corps there. Mountaineers. Okay. So we do have mountains in these positions. That's fantastic. So this we can hold. That should hold pretty nice. So we do have the mountains. We're going to try to hold on to the mountains as much as possible, really. The reason being that there's not much in the way of mountains, but they will prove a real impediment to Soviet advance. To the Soviet advance. Right. There's a core over here that is in dire need of reinforcements. We do have the Hungarian Second Corps over here. The Hungarian Second Corps could potentially hold in this area. Uh, the issue is there's not much in the way of swamp over here. Not much in the way of marshlands. So we do want to hold that position as much as possible. Uh, the Panzer Division, it would be nice to free that up. It would be nice to free up the Panzer Divisions in general, really. So I think uh, what it is is potentially we pull back. I may pull back to this river over here, to the River Pripyat. It may not be feasible to hold uh, the Barazina. But there's... I just feel about pulling back into this area over here. There's a lot of planes, so there's not much we can actually work with, really. And that's a tough one. It may be that we hold in the center while we pull back in the north. Probably better to pull back in the north. We do have some defensive terrain to work with, but it would be probably best to pull back to the uh, Dagava, Dagava River, perhaps. Or even the Neiman. Potentially a consideration of both. But it might be worthwhile to pull back to the Neiman. Pull back to East Prussia. Uh, possibly so. Now that could be achieved in a number of different ways. So I could retake the city of Piskov if I wanted to there. But obviously that's not worthwhile. How far can they move? So they can't move terribly far. So what we're going to do then is we'll work this from, from the front backwards, I suppose you could say. Uh, so we do have the actual Panzer Division over here. The 3rd SS Panzer Division. So what it might be worthwhile to do then is extricate the Panzer Divisions to actually create some sort of a mobile reserve and then work with that. So they're not up to full strength, which uh, is not brilliant. Supply, okay. Rail move, okay. So I could potentially have them move out by rail. Okay. Let's see. We could prioritize them for reinforcement. That's something to bear in mind. So take a look at what we've got here in terms of the actual economy. So, we have a stockpile of 771 production there, which is nice to work with. Now, support pool, no trucks, a little bit of air transport, some transports there, obviously for the Merchant Marine landing ships, not that there, any use. Uh, an oil of an escort, so okay, Merchant Marine, right. Hmm. And because they're larger formation, like these are a core, uh, the fours are armies. It's a good way just to actually indicate the size of forces on a on a hex-based map, really. Right, let's see. So, assault and anti-tank, then. It would be nice to potentially have more defense, but anti-tank would be worthwhile. But it's, it's not so much the anti-tank that we need to worry about tremendously. It's more, so, it's more so the infantry aspect that we need to worry about. We'll see. Yeah, I just call them anything. I just call them everything, really, every now and then. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, well, these guys are all calls, yeah. yeah. These are all calls. We do have the occasional division over here. And uh, those are, of course, all Soviet armies, or what would be considered armies. There are, of course, some uh, Soviet calls in there. Uh, they're armored units are usually calls, it seems. Right, let's take a look. So, an armored call there. Nine defense. It may be potentially worthwhile to look towards mechanized. Mechanized are very expensive, though. But very, very potent. <laughs> Could make 1939 mechanized. Jane, a bad idea. <laughs> I, I, I say, but it's not actually a tremendously bad idea. Depending on my actual stats. If what we're looking for is potentially something that can hold them alive, and that's not too bad to consider. Uh, let's see. Firearms 4. How does that compare? Firearms 6. Guns, of course. So it's an absolute assault there. It's a firearm. So we would be below there. Firearms 4. Right, okay. So they don't actually have the firearms. 
with the assault bow. That's not too bad. Guns for. So that's guns for. Guns free over here. Firearms for. I was thinking what we could potentially afford here, actually. I mean, obviously, that would be a call. Hmm. I suppose it could be to represent the actual size of the formations, really. Right. We need to find something that's going to be able to hold, actually. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. How do paratroopers look? Apart from Jaeger. Firearms is very good. Guns, not so much. But their defense is not too bad, and they're actually cheaper. When compared to the large cores. Anti-air and artillery. Firearms, six. So we lose the firearms, but we're gaining guns. But it doesn't actually affect the amount of defense there. The defense of the actual infantry units are just uniform, it seems. Marines have decent defense, actually. Paratroop is not so much. Interesting. But that's something to consider there. We do have air power. We have support over here, then. Right, increases the supply of land. Or oh, air unit. Okay. That's something to potentially bear in mind. That might be a quick way to actually get something out there. Try and make more of them. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any fortifications here for the actual land, per se. We do have coastal defense. Would have been nice, but okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do then is potentially get some supply trucks in the pool. Right, a couple of them there. I'm hoping that will show up in the near future. Right, reinforcements and upgrades. Let's take a look at what else we've got over here. Uh, Hungary, yeah. Finland's got some resources, but not much. I think what we'll potentially do here then is try to reinforce our units in the field. Let's see. So we have 41 manpower. 906 in the stockpile there. 60, 60. 120, that's not too bad. 180 there for Romania. So Hungary and Romania really have the... Manpower. Right. I think what we're going to do then is just put this up to whatever we can manage. And see how that goes to the time being. You really don't have much. What if you can put it into it then? Hmm. We'll see how that works. I'm not too familiar with the economy, so I'm going to have to do this as a test. Right. Okay, let's see. What are we working on here then? Heavy armor. Ah, uh, bugger the submarines, they're no longer any use. Ah, uh, detection electronics. That's not too good. Electronics. I need to get that over. So we'll try and work on the radar. Naval air training, bugger that. Close support, okay. Fighter bombers, right. Interceptors. Mm. Can I add to this? Oh, I can. That's interesting. Right, bugger the heavy armor. Hmm. Right, firearms, guns, artillery, and air defense. Is that what we are at now? Okay. Hmm. Breakthrough, interceptors. Right, uh, bugger fighter bombers. We'll go with that. Breakthrough interceptors. I'm going to bugger the interceptors as well, actually. Just try and concentrate as much as we can, really. Yeah, and such as... Well, that should be nice. Right. Just put it into... Focused, if we can. Heavy armor. Hmm. I guess into the heavy armor, then. See how that works out for us. Okay, so we're getting to where now. That's always good to see. 
So we do have over here in the west, so we do have a couple of Panzer Divisions, we do have a Mechanized Division over there. We do have our Garrison units over here, a couple Infantry units there. And what we need to do really is try and free up the Panzer Divisions wherever we can find them. Try and get a mobile reserve. If we get a mobile reserve we can actually work, we can actually get somewhere then. I think what we'll do then is we look at pulling back from the Baltic States pretty much immediately. I just, I just think it's an untenable situation. I could potentially hold a Riga. Riga is 1.4 there, which is nice. We do have a point 1 there and 0 there. So I think we'll pull back. So what I'm going to do then... I'm going to have you sent... Not to Riga, apparently. It's I can't get you there. But I could have you on the actual rail lines. So I'll have you pull back there. Hmm... Right, so we do have a division there to work with. We'll see what we can manage. We can see what we can manage. So you could pull back to that position over there, Riga. You could potentially pull there. You could only make it to that position. You could only make it to that position there. So unfortunately, I can't pull back across the river per se yet. What I could potentially do, though, is maybe pull to the river here. Possibly. It might be worthwhile to leave formation here as a blocking formation. It would be risky, but at least there would be that room. It would leave potentially more men over here then. So you could pull back. I'm trying to think if we pull back to the river Sorotov in there, then at least we have some sort of fortification, well natural fortification to work with. Uh, you could be moved there potentially. I think we might go for that just to try and hold it for the time being. I could potentially even have this unit move there as a blocking formation. This might not be the best idea, but then again... Okay, so that's the Soviet Second Shock Army. Hmm. So we do have some actual entrenchment over here, which is quite handy. Entrenchment 1, Entrenchment 2 over here. Then Entrenchment 2, right. So that would take some time to entrench. No leads. Okay. And tank 1944. Hmm. So we do have some assets to deploy, which is good then. So we do have some Luftwaffe field units. We do have supply trucks as well. Uh, nothing for the other Axis allies. But that's good. At least we do have some infantry to work with. Where could we potentially bring those in if we wanted to? So those would arrive July. Okay, so June 9th, June 23rd, 29th. Okay. And we need to try and make sure we hold in the west. So I might even take the actual Panzer Division and have it pulled back to the west if potentially possible and potentially with other units over here. It's essentially just a gigantic hold in action over here in the east. There's no victory per se. Uh, what we need to do is essentially shrink the frontage. It's not going to be great. I would prefer to fight with the Martians, but the thing is we really do not have much to work with. Of course, this is the beauty of the North European plane, isn't it? And once we pull back to this position here, we really do not have a tremendous amount to work with. It's going to come down to just basically having the combat weight being on our side. I'm trying to narrow down the amount of units that can actually throw against us. Over here on the main, you're going to pull back across the river over here. Use the mountains as a anchoring point. The the mountains over here of uh, Romania and Hungary are going to be essentially our anchoring point. They're going to form the keystone part of the line. So we'll go with that. That's going to be the bold plan. Not necessarily the best plan, but it's going to be a plan put in place on the lines. So, I would like to try and phase this withdrawal. So, we'll, we'll try and pull it back. It's where to begin sometimes, isn't it? So, it's like if you move here, it's not going to leave you exposed. But what we'll do then is, let's see. We could potentially just use this under control. Right. So, what do we have? We have Forest Fair Woods. See, so this area isn't exactly uh, especially inviting. You could pull back that there. Hmm. So that has the third panzer group. 16th army. Hmm. So we could try to pull back as far as possible. Then uh, we do see a lot of ground immediately. But it might be for the best just to pull back immediately. Trying to avoid the destruction of army group center. It might be that we just try to pull back as much as possible. 
I think potentially over here, but even then, that means I'm having to use more forces to try and hold something that I really gained no value from. And so what we're going to do then is we'll start by pulling back over here in the south, we'll figure it out from there, really. So I think we'll pull back across the river. The issue is we do abandon the fortification, so it might be worthwhile to hold for the for some time longer yet there, as we don't gain anything by pulling back over the actual river. So that's something to take into consideration, but it does actually try to shorten the line, per se. We do have Hungarian forces that could be shifted up over here. Right. So they could be moved via rail lines, which is always a handy one. We do have the Hungarians to work with there. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do then is figure this out. So I think we'll start all the way down here in the south, and that would ideally free up divisions to work with. The Panzers over here would be nice to send back to the west. Uh, unfortunately not. It is version 1.05. I did try to get the actual beta, but I couldn't seem to find a link for it, unfortunately. So that was my bad. So we do have a bounty core over here. Right, we have hills there. Okay. These guys aren't exactly uh, impressive. I do have some marshlands to work with here. That's very nice. Okay. That's hills and that's mountain. So we'll have you move to the mountains. Right, we do have mountains there. Let's see. It's mountains only, really. Uh, I could shift you there to hold that position. That is a strong unit. I'm not terribly familiar with the zone of control rules, but we will figure that out pretty swiftly, I'd imagine. We can definitely see that there is an effect here, zone of control. I think we can potentially get away with it in the north by using a unit to cover two hexes. Right. Hmm. It would be ideal to try and extricate German forces, really. I'm going to need this unit down here. I'm going to use the remaining forces over here, to be honest. Prioritize that for reinforcement. Well, actually, no, it's not even worth it. I just need bodies there. Bodies is all we need right now. Right. Hmm. We'll have the Romanians hold in the marshlands, perhaps. Yeah, the Shrevan isn't exactly brilliant. So, we've got a couple divisions. We've got five infantry divisions to work with there. The Germans, which is not bad. So we've got one hex there, two, three, four, five. So we could hold that. Quite nice, anyhow. Um. Okay, I'm going to head to that position there. I do want to hold these positions where they are more likely to come to threat, so I'm going to have them there. I would prefer to have them in the mountains, but I want to try and create some sort of a buffer there. So at least the weaker wings are somewhat more protected. Okay. Hmm. Unfortunately, they lose that fortification, but I think it's one of those if we just have to manage it. I might be able to reform these guys into an actual core, actually. And I think you have to have a third one there as well. So what I could do is try and reform them into a core. Uh, so what we're going to do then is have these remains move up here. And then we'll try and form this into a core next turn if we can. Right, okay. So pull these assets back. Okay, you can pull back there. We still have hills, which is not bad at all, really. I'll place you there and have this one brought back to try and rest it to a degree. Right, the armor is going to be pulled back. So let's see. Have the headquarters move back over here. We do have our airport, which is going to also move back over here. I may move it back yet further. Well, we're pulling back from Bessarabia. I'm going to call it Bessarabia, so I'm pretty sure it's Bessarabia. So let's see, can I move them via rail? I don't have rail move right there. Mm. 
I was hoping I would have rail move, but unfortunately not. I'm going to move the Panzer Division to the west. We're going to try to hold on with the infantry as much as possible, really. I'm going to try and just bring Panzer Divisions to the west. The reason being that, well, if we have that as a potential possibility, I would be quite happy. Uh, we should be able to hold maybe somewhat better. I mean, I'm giving up ground up here, which is obviously going to allow these sides to push forward. And uh, the issue is over here in Romania, there's not much to hold them. This is kind of the best we're going to get. We do have the mountains, so at least it does constrict this area over here, north of the Palesti oil fields. Ah, but it's not great. It really is not great. Bulgarian core there. Hmm. Okay, we do have partisan activity over here in Yugoslavia, of course. Right, we'll try and manage it. Try and manage it as best we can. So I could pull back over the way to this position here. Or at least be pushed back and we'll be okay. Uh, we will probably give Minsk ball management as it comes. I want to have enough force to actually win in the West. That's really the... The point of consideration, to be honest. Uh, that core is just desperately weak. So what we will do then is have it pulled back to recover. We could even potentially have it work on fortifications, but it's one of these of, well, it's better to just pull it back. Hmm. I'll have you pull back over here to lovely for the time being. Ideally give you a chance to recover. But as the Tosk is being held by a security division, okay. We do have, right, it's urban, but yeah, it's not great, it's not great. Hmm. Hungarians over here. Hmm. Right. 1.1 there. Hmm. We don't have any um, especially strong units. What we could potentially do even is look to bring the Panzers down here. Which I think we will do. I could shift you potentially into the forest, which I'm going to do. Shift you down here, contain this. Try and push that back if we get the opportunity to do so. Uh, but what I'm going to try and do then is, if we move the actual... Hungarian to this position, it's not brilliant. Just trying to go for a balance and act here as much as possible. Right, Martian Swamp, okay. Move you to that position there. Move you into the swamp over here, okay. Move them there. Ideally that gives us some stiff resistance, or at least some stiffer resistance. And they're actually quite similar. Now it's a really good question. They are quite similar. I'd say this one's probably the better war game, as obviously it's more focused on that aspect. But uh, they're, they're very interesting, both very interesting really. Hmm. No, they are very similar. They look very similar as well. Let's see. So we're going to pull back over here from Belarus as we discussed, discussed obviously, with the marshes over here. There's going to be a question, though, of how far we can actually manage. Right. You need to be pulled back. Hmm. Cavalry does have a nice deal of movement there. I'll have the cavalry pulled back here. Hmm. Okay. I do have the armor that can actually hold potentially in the center. Yeah, there you go. Would be nice if there was a cavalry unit filled that gap in. Okay. Whatever we can move to the swamp. But even then, it's probably not worthwhile. Probably, probably better just get moving. Right. We don't have the opportunity to pull back terribly far over here, so that would expose us to risk if I pull back too quickly. So pull, uh, pull back to the other side of the river. Yeah, there's a large gap here, really. Right. Hmm. 
So yeah, pulling back from this area is a must, to be honest. Let's see, how do we break these units up again? Try to remember now. <laughs> Ah, there we go. That's probably gonna, going to be what we have to do, really. At least I could try and hold a little bit more effectively in the north line, man. Um, there we go. I'm going to leave one aspect of the formation there. Move one there. Okay. So I can't break you on. Oops. I could break you up though. Hmm. It looks like we'll have to hold up the Sorot River then. Uh for at least some some period of time. Hmm. Nope, no mods. Alright, shoot you there. I'm trying to leave enough troops so I can actually have a reserve and try to fill. I don't need to fill gaps per se, but I need to have troops to just to give us the opportunity to pull back. To be honest, it really doesn't make a difference there. I mean, that is wood, so it's 1.1, 1 .1, so at least it's something to work with. Right. They're going to hold that position there. This gives me something to work with now. Hmm. But in all honesty, I need to get this to the west. I'm sending it to the west. I've got to make some tough choices, haven't we? Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get forces to the west, to be honest. They're very much weakened. Okay, I do have some forces fill that out. Then a swamp site's fantastic. Okay. So we're going to go with that for the time being. It does give me another formation to work with. But I'm going to have that similarly pulled back. Then they can be moved via rail. Right, let's see. Okay, we do have some garrison forces over here. We're going to need them to have partisans. Hmm. We do have some stuff uh, over here. Let's see, build queue. No. So that's what we've got over here. Uh, I built some supply trucks just to give us something to work with. But yeah, uh, we're going to try and concentrate on the west. To the detriment of the east, but we'll manage. Okay. Let's see. Let's have a look. 
So that would give us free to one odds there. But I don't really gain anything from that. I think all we're doing here with the actual armor and mechanize is just trying to stabilize the situation. What I need to do is actually prioritize the Western forces for the time being. Alright, prioritize. I need to get up to strength in the West. Okay. I'm going to keep the forces around Paris just so we have something to work with. I don't know exactly if the Allies will land in these same positions, as you would imagine. Uh, so I don't want to overcommit. God damn, I love the way Norway looks. So we do have entrenchments over here. Have forests, one per K. That was actually amazing. Hmm. <sighs> I'm going to pull these mountain cores back. It may bugger Finland, but ultimately, what does Finland matter in the grand scheme? We do have some Finnish forces over here, so we'll hold with the Finnish forces. As much as possible, really. So that's pretty much everything we've got over there. We'll have reinforcements arriving in some due time. Tap it's over there. Hmm. So what do we have here then? Mountain. If it's not mountains, it ain't worth it. That's a pretty decent division, but actually it's dug in as well, so that's handy to work with. Okay. Just stick with that for the time being. Really, I'm trying to find desperately forces to pull elsewhere. Uh, but there's not terribly much I can do with that other than what we've got now. I think we'll have our armored units set as prioritized units. Beyond that, it is pretty much a waiting game just to see what happens here. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, most likely not the best we could have done, but it's it's something at least. I'm gonna bring these guys by rail to the west. Bring them outside here. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we are pulling armor that we can out from the east. We're pulling back in the east as well, so that's not too bad. So at least we can hold somewhat of a ground here, then obviously we'll pull back again next turn. We'll go from there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and end the turn and just see how it goes. We're just going to save it here just in case. Yeah, a lot of angry Russians. A lot of ang angry Russians indeed. <laughs> we'll give that as a name, actually. But yeah, consolidation, consolidation. And right, we'll end the turn, see how that goes. I mean, Finland's going to be rough, but it's one of these of ultimate doesn't matter terribly much what happens there. Uh, we still have the cities, and as long as we hold the cities, at least they may not yet surrender. But I can see that they're shifting their lines. So ideally, we won't see tremendous amounts of attacks yet. We don't have a huge amount of ground to give. We do still have some ground to give in the north, especially in the Baltic. Uh, but it's it's all about trying to re reduce the... The... Uh, size of the line really, the width of the front line. Try and get some depth would be nice. Right, so we are seeing some attacks over here. Let's see. Well, we're holding for the time being, which is good. Obviously that one was to be expected that we get pushed back there. It was a weakened force. Right, those fortifications are doing their job for the time being, but they're not going to last very much longer. Okay, Mogolev falls. Okay, they do pull back there, which is actually really good. I can actually pull some uh, armor there. Okay, so see an armor moving there. No ideal. But that was going to happen nonetheless. Yeah, okay. It could have been worse. Right, so you know, see a lot of allied activity there. So, okay, Finland has low supplies of oil. Okay, a couple of units without supply there. Hmm. Again, bugger of Finland. Pull back there. It's just all about a measure of withdrawal. I'm going to try and get these forces out from Finland as well. Out from Scandinavia, back to Germany. Not very good allies, but the war is not exactly going well. So they have pushed deeper over here, but I could snip that off potentially as we contract the lines. It does make things a little bit harder to work with. Mogilev fallen as well does make things slightly harder to work with. Uh, but this swamp over here is pretty good. I can pull back to this and still hold a decent line. They have contracted their lines over here as well. I suppose that is due to the fact that they've had to obviously move up here. Uh, let's see. 
Let's turn that off. That's all fair. So they did attack there, which is not too surprising, but I could move a strong unit to cover that now uh, quite nicely. So as well. See a couple attacks over here. But yeah, they're mostly moving to catch up to the point to which we gave. Or to where we gave uh, ground, really. We're not seeing them push here yet. We are looking to reinforce these units. That's good. I just need to reinforce. Need to push these assets into the west and go from there. We do have a Luftwaffe field unit to deploy. Uh, so that gives me something to work with. But again, uh, goes to the west. When the west is secure, then we can focus on the east and hold in the east. But we need to make sure the west is secure. Otherwise, it's all for naught. Uh, Italy is not so much a problem, really, due to the mountains. Right, let's see. I don't think I need to move an especially large unit. How do I combine them again? How is that you plan to combine them? Hmm. Shift you there anyway. Let's see. How is it how you do it? <laughs> I've been told so many times by developer. I can't believe I'm a... Ah, there we go. Alt click. There we go. Now we've got it. Now we've got the secret. Right, so we shifted them since there. Okay. Hmm. I have mountains to work with, so I'm not too nipped about that. You can fall back this position here. Okay. Right. Actually, it probably is best to cover them. Have that prioritized reinforcement. It's going to take a beat in shortly. Okay. That is more than likely going to be overwhelmed. But not yet. I'm going to try and get the Hungarian reinforcements over to this position. Okay, so they can move out via rail. Right, we are building up our numbers over here in the west. So we're more or less alright, but it's good to know. Okay, so again, it's going to be just trying to constrict these lines as much as we can do safely. So we'll pull back the headquarters there. That could be potentially uh, given a bloody nose. But it's easier said than done. Hmm. But again, it's just, is it worth it? And this is when it gets to crunch time in this area here, really. 
I think we just fall back. I think we continuously fall back. Right, okay. Hmm. That's good to have you there. Okay, they obviously need to be able to recover. So that's one to one, okay. Right, move you there to begin with. So you can't move any further than that. So that's that's kind of like a limiting factor there. Yeah, right. So we're going to hold that as long as we can and then pull that in. And we are doing better as we're able to constrict the lines yet further. Obviously that would have been preferable to have uh, had it occur in another manner, really. But the good news is we've been able to secure quite a few divisions for the West. I feel dirty moving them there to Normandy. Just feel it just feels gamey. I mean you I may uh, yeah, to be honest, I'll keep this division over here. And then at least we have something to work with. So I'm gonna keep it um hmm. I'll actually have you there at Tallinn for the time being. You can stay in Riga for now. And just, yeah. Replace, really. Hmm.
Uh, they moved in the south. They moved in the south, but they, yeah, they moved over here, but they haven't done tremendous amounts. And I can't blame them, because obviously that's tough terrain there. Which is really what I'm counting on. I just want to try and make sure we have some depth to our line. I really am drawing everything from over this way as much as I can. Like, we are going to be bleeding over there. But we could potentially just hold on to Norway. <sighs> just see how we get on with that. I'm going to have these guys move over here to Brest. Try and use them offensively if we can. Uh, right, let's see. I'm going to pull as much as I can into this. Let's see how we're going with that. Mountain units would be very nice. How long do they take? 120 days. Of Right, okay. At least that gives us something to work with then. So they're going to arrive on the 11th of August then. <laughs> yeah, that would be rather embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. So they're low on supply, but that's not too bad. It's to be expected, really. I still have these trucks. How does one use these? How do they? How are they deployed? Or am I just able to use them when, when needed? Hmm. Right, okay. Oh, they're not ready yet, that's why. Might be worthwhile to invest in yet more trucks, to be honest. They do increase the actual abilities of our units, which is good. So you can see supply there is obviously something of a concern. These must be areas of past and activity, so we're going to have to deal with them. Okay. We'll deal with it when we get the opportunity to do so. Hmm. Right, we'll go with that. I'm going to do a save again. Right, there we go. We'll go forward. Let's see, actually. So, reports. Uh, okay. So, Soviet's obviously very powerful. We are we're not too far off. We obviously combined all of our forces, but it wouldn't be too bad, really. Hmm. It is interesting, though. Okay, well, what we're going to do then? Yeah, casualties, obviously, yeah, it's quite excessive. Partisan activity, okay. <laughs> Could declare war and declare war on Ireland, yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, advancements. This is interesting, though. I'm hoping by actually really, really focusing on our research, it might help us. Probably not. It's probably way too late at this point here. But it is worth a try. And we are putting it into the actual Sultanate tank there. Just hoping that might give us something to hold, really. 
I just need to be able to break him down. Just, just hold, just hold as long as we can. Well, we have since moved backwards twice now. But at least it is delaying the inevitable somewhat. Any extra turns that we can go without our men taking casualties is worthwhile. Right, here we go. And the Allies launch an invasion. Okay, I didn't want to have everything on the actual beaches, just... Well, just in Normandy per se. So I wanted to see what they had available. I know they will probably be able to hit us. Fleet not found is interesting. Right, they're moving up there. I can only give so much land in Bessarabia. If anything, by giving the Soviets more land to actually hold on to, it actually inhibits them somewhat. As you can see, they're trying to fill in the gaps now, so obviously they don't have the ability to concentrate uh, at least as much. And it's going to reach a point at which, well, we no longer have an advantage per se by pulling back, as obviously uh, the line will constrict, but so it will for the Soviets as well. And obviously, due to having more men, they can rotate. But we do see the land is in Normandy. Okay. The marshes are really good, besides when they're not, but they're genuinely pretty good. Getting pushed back, but this is it. We are having to divide our forces just to try and hold the line. But we are continuously pulling back. And trying to save what we can. Fight where we must. But we are hurting them as well. There we go. I'm producing some extra units, but I might come to regret that somewhat. Hmm. Right, there we go. So we are going to use our armor around Paris just to hit those units and just really just hold the west. We've had a number of units move to the west, so we have stripped a lot of armor from the east, but it's one of those of where we just hold there. If we are pushed back to Prussia, then fine, we'll hold Prussia. We just need to manage it. Hmm. Yeah, that's not great. That's especially not great. Yeah, okay, so we had a couple formations shattered there, which is not great. Really not good. Okay. As there's a lot to work with there. So thanks to Merchant Marine over here, which is good. You're saying invasion Germany, UK invasion Germany, okay. Finland has no oil supplies. Hungary has low oil supplies. Flea has low oil, okay, so we'll have to pull them back. Uh, the land to the north over here, which is interesting. And over here as well. That's very intriguing. Hmm. No. Also, we need to deny them supply. So I think probably the first point is going to be to try and push them back from the port over here. Oh no, we still hold the port, it seems. So we do hold the half. That's good there. Okay. So I can actually concentrate a lot of mass over here, which is really handy. And which we're going to do so. And we'll deal with them one at a time. We do have the blockage over here, so at least we do have that to hold. Uh, give them a run for their money for some time. I do have divisions of infantry as well. Okay. So the infantry is going to hold here for the time being. I can throw the weaker panzer division over here. Which I'm going to do. Right, okay. Hmm. Right, that's awesome. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Right, okay. So we do have the Panzer Divisions to make this work. So I think what we'll do then is we'll concentrate against this formation over here. Uh, try to prevent them from getting a foothold. We do have a Bulkage. It might be to our benefit. Well, then again, I think we'll try and deal with what we can deal with over here. So move them over there to hold them. I could even combine those formations next. Right. Move you there. Move you there. So let's see what we can manage here. So that'd only be a two to one there. Three to two there. Three to two. Hmm. What I'm gonna do then? Pull you back there. Move the mechanized over here. Move the panzers over here. So that only gives us bloody two to one, which is actually really bad. Is that due to the river crossing there? It is, isn't it? It's still two to one. So we're better off just not attacking with the uh, panzers across the river. We'll try and grind them down. They do hold. Inflicts obviously a lot of damage on us. Hmm. They do have heavy armor. They've got breakthrough over there. Have they got entrenchment already? How the hell have they got entrenchment? Right, should I fall? I forgot about these other forces. Right, we'll go for that. Oh, we do force them to surrender as well. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's brilliant news. Okay, that's really, really good. Really glad about that. Right, you can move there then to hold for the time being. That does give us another Panzer Division. That's really great strength there just to hold. So, that's good. That's really good. We've actually forced one of the American units to surrender. That's brilliant news. I'm going to have you actually shift over this way towards Lille, perhaps. I do have an actual Luftwaffe field, which I almost forgot about, so I can have you move to Lille. Right, that gives us something to work with. I do have air power. Again, uh, this is close as well, actually. Move him out this way. Hmm. Two to one there. It's not brilliant. But I do wonder, actually, I think they are potentially considered isolated. Hmm. Right, move you for the time being. Okay, you can't attack, unfortunately. So that'd be two to one there. Three to two. Hmm. Would have been nice if I had the Panthers there, but we'll we'll see how that manages. Uh need to just really get them up to strength uh, especially quick. Hmm. They need to be prioritized to recover that strength. But at least we've knocked out one of them, so that, that's at least one of them down. I may have to retain more, but at least it is working over here in the west. That's, uh... It's something to work with. What I'm going to try and do then is actually grab some additional forces, if I may. Hmm. It's essentially taken from one hand to pay the other, but it is worthwhile. Right, there we go. Oh, 
Well, I can't move you in forever, goddammit. Um. No idea. Just for the time being, just to get something in there, just in case. Okay, so at least we are managing something of it at least. Apparently I could even move in there, that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, I need to prevent them from crumbling, so uh, we need to, we need to reform to be honest. I'm not using the air power yet, I'm trying to save it to be honest. Okay, at least I dig it in some more. These bosses back for the time being. Right, use the panzers just to try and get a semblance of order. So I'm going to combine them next. Yeah, we don't have a tremendous amount of room to give. Alright, so we were pushed back there, which is not good, but we've been pushed back into mountains, so I can handle that. Okay, reinforce them. Hmm. 
Hmm. Roll back. I really want to get these armored formations up to scratch. Right, okay. Okay, so we do have another Luftwaffe field core to go with, assuming it is a core. Again, to the west. To the west, to the west, everything you own in the back, to the west. <laughs> I amused myself with that one. <laughs> Crappy sick but man, I enjoyed that. I felt good. Okay. Move down here, need to avoid obviously those patrols. Move it to ports. Yeah, that's not good. Looks like a carrier group at that, actually. Alright. Move back to home ports, really. Or friendly ports, at least. So, Italy's okay. I don't want to strip it of everything that's good, just because I, I want to make sure that is just held. To be honest. Hmm. But we'll try and crush the landings next turn, then. So I'll save that. I think this is far more entertaining, really, playing like late war, just as we actually have threats to contain. But at least we managed to destroy one of them, which is good, one of the American cores, which is really nice. So that la eliminates at least some some of the issues, really. Again, I'm giving ground in Finland just to try and draw Soviet forces there. If they sense blood, then let them have it. I'm going to have to recombine these units to avoid them from shattering, to be honest. It was a real big shame that we did have a couple uh, divisions actually shattered. They're just too small. Too small when they're going up against the armies. Right. So they're trying to break out. That's good. Diminishing their own strength. They can be broken down. That's not good. At least they don't break very entirely. Yeah, and they break. That's not good. They did a good job, but yeah, they broke. Push back over there to the north. <laughs> not great. Right, we're forced to retreat there. Hungarians are pushed back. Right, okay. We are going to crunch time. You know nothing of the crunch. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen like, the Mighty Boosh. You know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the crunch. <laughs> you know nothing of the crunch. Where's it, Tony Harrison? <laughs> hmm. That's not good. And we do have armor that we can use then. So that's good. At least we didn't complete strip it. I was tempted to complete strip the east of armor, but I suppose we have to keep some just to try and act as a reaction force. Thankfully they didn't break. That swamp is so, so handy. The Martians, it's so useful. It's the only way we're really holding in certain areas, to be honest. Right. 
I've weakened my assets. I've weakened the actual front line, per se, by dividing it. But at least it has prevented us from being outmaneuvered. But we are getting uh, progressively caught up. But at least we can pull back further. It may just truly be that we pull back to this line over here. Just pull back to the Vistula and call it there, really. Uh, Konigsberg is obviously a great city to hold on to, but apparently not a victory location, which is interesting. Uh, Riga, Minsk, obviously, but we pull back, we pull back, we pull back. I think I forgot to move these units last time. Uh, so they can move by rail, apparently. Or not. <laughs> oh, no, they are on rail, okay. So I guess that's fine. I also can't move to Sweden, can I? Well, I can move to the north, and we'll have to move to the north. Gotta get out. Unless we invade Sweden, but that's not a great idea. Right, okay, another Luftwaffe core. And obviously, normal calls there, it seems. That's good. Right, so D Day we can throw back. We have a mass enough force, and then once we throw D Day back, we will. And this is obviously, we've hurt ourselves. We've gave up a massive amount of land over here for this. Uh, what other countries might have entered the war to tilt in the axis favor? <laughs> uh, yeah. The United States. <laughs> I think that's the only one that might have made a difference. I don't know. I, I think it's one of those of ultimately, ultimately the, the, the situation just was not a great one. Um... I think for them to have made any difference, it would have been just, they would have had to be there for Balrosa, really. Hmm. The Turks could have been interesting, but then it's one of those of like, what, what really could the Turks have done? But at least it might have given them just a distraction, to be honest. I think a distraction would have been probably the best they could have done, potentially. But who knows, who knows. It's an interesting question, though. It's a very interesting question. Right, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Reinforce our strength, which is good. Excellent. Hmm. Um. Right, reinforce them. I think Spain was in a terrible, terrible situation for the Civil War, really. I may leave them to wither on the vine yet longer, to be honest. But that is a dangerous situation, so it's probably better to bring it to an end as soon as possible. Because we want to do... Two to one. I think we just try and grind them down there. I could actually pull them back and move in a stronger force, which I'm going to do, actually. Two to one. Just try and grind them down, really. Hmm. You're not full strength, so I'll pull you back, move you in. Oh, they do surrender. Fantastic. Right, that's good. Can't seem to take that. But at least we have that, so that's good news. I'll move you there, move you back. Right, that's good. So that's the British force there that's been forced to surrender. What we're going to do there is move you here. Move you there. Move the panzers there. So we're going to attack with V. First SS Panzer Corps V. Get back to you on that one. That one too. And the reserve mechanized call. 7 to 1 odds there. It's looking good. We force them to surrender. Now, that's a difficult proposition. In some ways, it would be better just to have them advance it uh, into the hinterland, so at least we could actually try to get some force against them. We've driven most of the Allies back, but not all of them, and we need to just try make sure we get them all. But uh, we'll see if we can manage. Nice infantry on the front line, keep the armor back to recover. Swap you around there. Okay.
Hmm. Right, I need that armor to recover. But we're doing well there. At least we're forced them off. It's given us some reprieve. I could potentially even send troops to the east, which is probably the best bet. As I, I'm, I'm hemorrhaging over here. Yeah, we had a core shatter. We had two divisions shatter. We did force two allied corps to surrender. But yeah, you can see our casualties going up there. Let's keep throwing more in there. As much as I can, to be honest. I don't really need to produce much. I'm only producing units just so I can recover what... Uh, and replace what was lost, really. Right, reinforce that. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yep, they're terribly weak. Alright, bugger mints, we just pulled back, I guess. Not ideal, frankly. How you doing there, Paul? Good to have you, my friend. Right, okay. Let's see. Play a little game of switcheroo. Try and make things work. Hmm. I don't even want to want. It's not brilliant. I'll have the German force pulled back. Right, okay. I'll be three to one odds. So they hold, okay. Seven to one, we force them back. So that was a union that we just forced back, so I'm going to hit it again, actually. And we shatter it, which is really good. Okay. Hmm. Does make me wonder if it's worthwhile to try and pocket something, or is that too bold? Maybe another turn, actually. And units really difficult to dig out there. 
But at least we shattered an actual armored formation, which is good news. I think counterattacks are a little bit too bold at this moment in time. Hmm. Okay, we'll start hitting the uh, power now. Sorry, the uh, armored units. I think I came off much worse there. Right, okay. I'm going to pull you off completely. Actually, that's that. Ah, too late now. God damn it. Let's try and buy us uh, some time here, really. It's good that we were able to pull off that there. They need to move up that way so I can reform. Just, just reinforce, really. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Shift them over there, and I could potentially move them into Riga the next turn. Free up some room there. Well, some power there. Once we deal with it over here in the west, we're all right. I, I don't want to quickly pull out yet because I need to make sure that that is truly the worst of it and then we can see if we can manage right so we'll go ahead and we'll pull another turn off it really is an interesting situation because there's a very balance it's a very uh <laughs> difficult balancing act here really we have given a lot of ground in the east we have suffered in the east so we can actually try to win in the west right okay yeah this is why additional forces land in here Okay, there's Talon and gone, but that's fine. We haven't been able to pull back as far as I would have hoped for. Alright, okay. The Allies are certainly not done over here. I'm glad that we've... Yeah, I think this is it. It is proven worthwhile having the armor there. Definitely getting crunch time now. Definitely getting to that crunch. At least with the armor attack in mountains, it's really reducing their abilities. I can't, I can't allow them to get around me like that. So we have to give grounded at certain locations. Yeah, that division was pushed back as well. It's not good. That's an armored unit. That's going to be tough. But at least we can surround it to a degree. Allied force there. We can take that one out pretty quick. I'm going to really try and focus... 
over here in the west, try and drive the allies back. They only have a finite amount of forces that they can bring to bear quickly. And then we'll try to race to the rescue of the east and try to halt in these. Uh, if we can try to gather enough armored forces, we might be able to potentially pull off some sort of uh, encirclement to try and reduce their strength, try and reduce their number of troops, really. Just hold, 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 hold. Everything matters about holding. Hmm. They are William in Bodotini, so we need to deal with that. But armored force is a problem. But we have the means to deal with it. Okay. So, additional Brits land over here then. We have another division destroyed, another one. Oh, that was an air. Could have destroyed there, unfortunately. Uh, it's still not so bad. Things could have been significantly worse, really. It's July now, okay. Yeah, that armor June is bad. But I can actually take the port there. Hmm. I think what we'll do then is we'll see what we can crush. I mean, this could be potentially crushed over here. The good news is they land and then they can't break out. And then they're starved of supply. I do have forces over here that I could pull down to the area here quickly. By rail, nonetheless. So this needs to be crushed. Fort one odds. We force it to surrender. Very nice. I mean, it is overwhelming. The amount of power that we put in there. Hmm. Move you there to hold that. So that's three to two, but we're going to hit it. And wow, okay. Um, didn't imagine it would surrender just like that, but it did. Wow, okay. I'll take that. <laughs> that was unexpected. Right, okay, that's freed up at least another formation here. There's still additional forces, but it might be potentially time that I could start sending, sending stuff back, but not yet. Not yet. Pull you back there. There's a lot of force that we have over here. A lot of force. Start striking them there. I'm taking casualties, don't mind them. Right, okay. But we are stabilizing things. They've still got Sherbog over there, which is a problem. I may have to just let them actually break out in order to destroy them, really. Italy's still okay. The east is obviously where we've been pushed to there. We do have another core to be deployed, so I can deploy this in the in the east. Yeah, it gives me something to work with. So I can pull back the actual Panzer Division there. So it's urban, so it's 1.4, it's pretty good. It's better than what we've got across the river. But obviously the river does help out significantly. So that's something to bear in mind. Our forces, I mean, this is it. Once we actually get uh, a division or a core, as I have some time to actually recover, they do recover. Right, you can see the amount of armor that's shifted up here since. Obviously, if we'd moved in there, that would have been a bad idea. But they only have so many, so many units. Oh, I forgot to move you. Move there. Right, I can move there, so at least we can actually get these guys out. Hmm. I've actually pulled back over here, so I can actually push onto Leningrad there. At least, well, not push onto Leningrad, but uh, it does actually free up a significant amount of units here. That really genuinely does free up a lot of units. Okay, so then obviously have to fill up a lot of land there, so they are pulling units from across the board to try and fill that. Uh, 
it's not so bad. We are able to try... Well, yeah, we're able to try and get some semblance going now. Push back there, but that's not too bad. Hmm, it's a very strong division. Sorry, very strong call. Yeah, frankly, you do have to move back in there. What I'm going to do is bring that uh, Hungarian formation down here. Right. They can just recover for the time being. Swap them around. Hmm... Right, okay. So we did take some casualties, but we're not too bad. It's obviously have gain power, of course. And this is it, obviously, we've taken casualties. Uh, the US have taken a fair amount of casualties, though, so that's good news. The Brits as well. Air power. We've had a lot of air power lost. We're being pushed. We are being pressured quite hard here. The good news is at least we do have forces to make things happen. Okay. So I've got a couple of goals over here. And again, it's just probably worthwhile just to keep on pulling back. But the river line is handy. If I can just stabilize this area around Minsk, we'll be uh, in a significantly better position. Right. So I could reinforce that. There's the police unit. Let's move you down this way, actually. And I could try to build them together, combine them, really. Hmm. Right, okay. Oh, I do have full... Oh, could have moved them by the port, but I will. We'll get them moving there, but I guess I could try and move them via... I could I could turn them around. I'll just have to turn them around next time. I didn't realize we could actually embark. Okay. Let's just move you there. You move in. Can't move via rail right now, but that's okay. Get them moving down the rail line. Hmm... Okay, that's pretty good. So we can at least hit the tank army and do a decent amount of damage, actually. That's actually really good to know. Right, okay, so we don't see any threats to the... Uh, well, at least a Greece... Uh, but I'm going to keep the Bulgarians there just in case. I don't trust it. Hmm. We'll give the Panzers time. Sorry, yeah. We'll give the Panzers time to recover, and then we'll see what we what we have to deal with. But once that's secured, then we'll be all right there. Okay. Certain battles like that might be worthwhile, actually. They aren't in clear, so I'm going to hit them. They do hold. Eight to one odds. They force retreat. It's not often I want to do that, but when I can actually hit them from multiple sides, it's probably worth it. Yeah, you were hit hard, just not good. There's a gap there. Uh, three to two. I cannot lose that mountain. I just can't lose the mountain. Hmm. 
Hmm. Then they can move south. In fact, I may have them move south here just to try and hold that. In fact, I might. It's one of those that gives us a chance to actually recover troops and try and build up some force there. We're lucky to have the mountains, so we need to really hold on to that. Right, okay, so the stockpile is diminishing, but that's okay. So keep it going. We could obviously reduce it and therefore after. But yeah, frankly, just need to hold that there. So we'll see the last turn, and then uh, unfortunately we'll have to call the stream there. Hmm. Yep, okay. Still not over. But they are having to fight a land there, which is good. Some lead formation that we saw there. Okay. At least we have with the Soviets pulling back as the water from Finland in the south, we've been able to actually put some pressure towards Leningrad. And it has freed up additional troops, which is good news. They have a lot of armies there in the north, but it's like to what ends. I'll have to pull the uh Yeah, I mean this is it. Uh, obviously had I known I would have moved the German mounted divisions obviously in Finland to the ports and got them out immediately, really. We are giving them a run for their money. They're not attacking too many places now, but we'll see. Hmm. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. It's been pretty fun, actually. It's been pretty fun. It's a good game. I like I like Warplan. It's just really good at what it's meant to do. It's really good at what it does. Run by Held. Riga. Uh, maybe not so long. We are pushed back there, but that's okay. Yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's simple, but it works. That's it, isn't it, really? I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. You can find my channel over on YouTube at XCRG. Would much appreciate uh, you guys checking it out and subscribing if you're new as well. It's been fun. I'm always, uh, <laughs> it's, it's always a very unprofessional start to just get everything set up, but I enjoy these. We learn, we learn as we go along. Yeah, I'd have to take a look at uh, some of the mods, actually. I wasn't aware that there were any. I can imagine they'd be really good. I can imagine they'd be good. Right, push there. Riga's a rough one. Um, if that's a question addressed to me, I do occasionally stream on Twitch. It just, it just seems like most people, most of my subscribers, most of my fans, actually, I hate saying that word, fans, it sounds so ridiculous um but it seems like the vast majority of people are made aware when i stream on youtube so it's one of those of just trying to make sure that the most people actually are aware but it's one of those i did move to twitch actually get a fairer ad income but then as far as it goes there's really no no substitution for patreon to be honest there we go. Interesting question. But this is where we leave it today. So we do see that we have the first Polish armor division land in there. We have a British core over here. The Americans have run out of steam, though. We did knock out the Panzer. Sorry, we did knock out the armor division. We knocked out two infantry divisions, two infantry corps, I should say. So it wouldn't be terribly much longer where we'd have to uh, foreseeably hold the Panzers over here. But it was worth it. But we did pay for it. We did, we did pay. Imagine, obviously, we initially started, where was our initial starting point? It was, it was around about, uh, yes, I mean, this is, it was, con we contemplated holding over here, uh, the Berezna River, but we have ceded a lot of ground, and it is paying dividends. Obviously, it is allowing us to hold, obviously, over here in the west. We obviously are trying to hold down here in Italy, but Italy is a solid one due to the mountains, and they're just real small combat with uh, it's not a great front, but it is an essential one because obviously it ties up forces over here. But yes, we are being contracted 
we are contracting. <laughs> it, it's not brilliant. But until next time, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I, can't, I, I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm just going to go ahead and leave a link to my channel. If you guys feel I've deserved it, please go ahead and subscribe for more. If you'd like to enjoy it there. Uh, thank you very much to Sliverin and Matrix Games for allowing me to be here once again. Always feels good to be back. It's been a while, but it feels good. And uh, Warplan will be coming out in the near future. So do, do make sure to check it out. Goodbye for now. Have a beautiful evening and an even better day. See you later, guys.